There's a lot of concern from parents about school safety after this week's shooting tragedy in Michigan. And it's making a lot of us hyper aware of little things like this. Ferndale police say a teen turned himself in for allegedly bringing a BB gun to school, which caused the lockdown yesterday. Then deputies in Snohomish County say a 14 year old is now in custody on felony charges for a social media post threatening violence at these three schools. So we sent King 5 Sebastian Robertson to talk to authorities about how they investigate these cases and make sure kids are safe in school. Well, both these cases are being taken very seriously. Law enforcement pointing out that they are unrelated, but in both situations, they prompted a very serious law enforcement response. The Muckleteo School District saying quick action by parents and educators may have prevented a worst case scenario. Well, for one, we we're super grateful that people reported this right away, right? Because we want to we want to know we want to take that seriously so that we have an, a chance to investigate. 8 p.m. Wednesday, several people call 911 concerned over an anonymous social media post calling for violence at Voyager and Explore Middle Schools and Mariner High School. Overnight, the sheriff's office, major crime unit and detectives began working the case. Hours later, an arrest is made. A 14 year old former student that's now facing six felony charges. I believe the individual did indicate um, that they had no intention to carry this out. Um, however, these things are taken very seriously, joke or not, and students will be held accountable when these things occur. The North Shore School District dealing with a similar situation. Bothell High School closed to in-person learning Thursday after an anonymous threat was made. Law enforcement calling the two threats unrelated. And tonight, school district officials echoing this message to parents and students. You know, if they see something or if they think it might be funny uh, or to try to cancel school or any of those uh, thoughts they might have to share uh, uh, something that's threatening about school, uh, we just want our students to understand just how serious that is and that there's real consequences for doing that. And that 14 year old that was arrested overnight has not been charged, remains in custody and will likely see a judge tomorrow. In Everett, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.